Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku series. This is Thursday, June 13th. We'll see if I manage to finish this one in slightly under 10 minutes as I did yesterday. Uh, there's a five in row one, box one. I'm gonna get an eight in two spaces. Oh, actually, no, one, two, three, four. There are four eights pointing into box two. I can place it. Five, five, eight, okay, nine, five, three, eight, four, two. I think I'm done for the top three rows of the middle ones. I'm gonna get an eight in box six, which I think gives me an eight in box nine. That should give me my last one, yep. And just like that, I have all nine eights. And as far as the middle three rows, other than eights, I've got six, four, one, two, seven, lots a piece, and on the bottom, I have three, nine, two, six, five. So I get a nine in three spots in row eight, box nine, but that's all I get. If I go by columns, I have all my eights. So I've got one, three, nine, two, six. Okay, I can place a nine. Two spots, box four, column two. One, three, nine, two, six, four, eight, five. I think I'm done. In the middle columns, other than eight, I've got nine, one, five, six, four, seven, once a piece. And on the right, I'm gonna get a two in two spaces, column nine, box six. I think that's all I'm gonna get. Okay, is there anything unusual happening? Possibly. There are four spaces for two in box seven. This cell and that one are ruled out. Okay, fours ruled out of here. Ooh, there's also a crossing on fours in box four. These two cells and that one can't be four. So four is strictly in one of those two. Puts it one of those three based on this configuration. Let's see. Uh, six can't be here, so it's in one of these two. And that doesn't help me much. Okay, row three has two, four, five, six, eight. I need one, three, seven, nine, but that one could be anything but nine. Seven, that's three, seven, nine, because neither can be one. Not one, seven, or nine. Unfortunately, I don't have anything useful with it. Row six, I've got one, two, seven, eight. So give me the rest and see what happens. These aren't six, that's not five, not three, not nine or four, not four, five, nine. I don't have a triple poop. Seven. Well, that cell might be quite restricted. It could be one. But it can't be two, three, four, five, six, or eight, nine. That is one or seven. These ones we know one, seven are possibilities. One, two, three are out. Four, five, six are still in there. But that one sees everything but one. Says this is seven. These now can't be one or seven. That's not five. That gives me a triple in row seven. Uh, those two ones force a one in two places in column four. I now have six digits in box seven. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I need one, two, four. This one can't be one. That one can't be two, and that one can't be four. And in box in column three, I've got four, five, seven, eight, nine. I need one, two, three, and six. 
That can't be one, two, or six. That's actually three. It's forced. Okay, that places six and nothing else, unfortunately. I mean, yes, it does. This can't be one, so it's a two. That places one, four, two, and column seven is complete. That can't be four, so this one is. Okay, these are five and s five, seven, and nine, of which that can't be nine. Those two must be for five, six, and seven. And they form a triple to complete column one. Column two has one, three, oh, literally all the odd digits. Okay, none of those are nine, so these are one, three, five, seven explicitly, of which that's not one or three. That's not one or three, that's not five. Well, that gives me a five, six, seven in box one also to go with a five, six, seven in column one. So that means these cells cannot be seven. Therefore, those two must be one of those two. Seven, nine here places that five. Consequently, this one. Okay, what's left in row one is four, six, seven, nine. Nine can only go in one space. At the very top right of box two. This isn't three, that's all we know. That's not nine. Okay, three, seven places one, three, one, three. That now can't be one or seven by the pair, that's a nine. So this isn't. Okay, where were we? Row one, one, two, three, five, eight, nine, nine, eight, four, six, and seven. That one can't be six. This could be anything. This is one, four, six, or seven. Okay, this is a pair, two and four, neither of which we know yet, but that means these two are not four. Therefore, one of these two must be, but we knew that. These two must be one, but we knew that. Uh, one, nine, eight will appear in all those cells. I can't do anything with the bottom third quite yet. Let's see, those two cells in box eight, row eight, cannot be one, two, five, six, eight, nine. They are two thirds of a three, four, seven set. Those cells can't be one, four, eight, nine. So they are from two, three, five, six, seven. Oh. Three, two, three. This can't be two, it's one, so that's a two. Therefore, that's a one. These aren't three, four, seven, or those two out from being seven. And now neither can be three. This isn't four. Let's see, these are seven, nine, and five. To complete row four. And this sees seven box and nine by column, so the five is placed. Therefore that's three. 
That's a nine. This one must be six. It simply can't be anything else. Assuming I pencil marked everything correctly, and I should be away because I basically can undo all my pairs and triples, and I just about have enough to go on. Okay, four, five, nine, triple, and box six, along with the other digits. Leaf three and seven as a pair, and the given three in column eight will tell me the order. Well, that's clever. I cannot disambiguate box three yet, or the six, seven in column one. Okay, this, uh, this can only be one. It can't be four, five, or seven. So that should finish column seven, which will finish box three, and that should unwind column one, and thus row seven, and row six, and now we have enough to go on. Three can only go there. I'm looking at five and seven, and they go in in this order, and just over 11 minutes. I'll take it.